Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts Reviews and Off Times Reminisces. Today we're going to do Alpjuk. Um, now, they are funky, funky people, Alpjuk. He's a funky person, the guy who uh, provides a barrage for Alpjuk. However, um, I was going to do one of their, their one from his um, eponymous, don't they call it, eponymous albums. Um, uh because it's fast and raucous stuff um however when i went to um load it for this i noticed that uh there was a newer song which i've not heard before and it's a these call them singles when i lad um <laughs> but it's a, it's a single song um so because um i rarely do proper reactions because i've normally heard something or at the very least heard the contents of the album even if i save one of the tracks to um to uh, listen to uh, it's very rarely i hear something totally fresh um and so i thought we'll do one of them shall we <laughs> and so we're going to do this one from Alpdruck. it's quite recent compared to the album as well so let's see what he sounds like nowadays Reverb is your friend. Okay, that's quite interesting. Um, initial thoughts are compared to uh, the previous stuff. This is um, slightly less frantic and uh, slightly more atmospheric than... Um, I was only listening to his songs the other day, so... Um, yes, this is a little bit different. Um, not quite as in-your-face uh, and more murky. Let's see how it... Progress is showing. So, this is a, a much more of a miasmic um, sound than the uh, previous stuff. Uh, it reminds me, um, if I had to make comparisons, <laughs> um, 
if you took Nightbringer and uh, Vessel of Iniquity and got them to do their thang together, this, this this isn't far off the mark of what it would sound like, I don't think. Um, it is... Yes, it's far murkier than the other stuff, which, uh, which, which was sort of any murk on the other stuff found itself um, blown away to a certain extent by the sheer pace of um, the onslaught. So um, I think this being slightly slower has allowed the obfuscation and the, the shadow to remain uh, and not get whisked away by an absolutely frantic pace. Charges are very effective. It's a bit like a heavyweight boxer lining up his punch and then absolutely giving you one power slap. Initially, this song was devoid of melody for the most part, and it's crept in um, sometimes. Obviously, melody lightens a song, um, and you know, with some songs that are an absolute barrage of, of uh, coal black menace, um, melodies sometimes take away the impact. However, I think uh, with a lot of them, and particularly here, the dichotomy of a uh, of that sort of fuliginous background sound with a, a brighter melody actually adds adds to the sinister nature of it by providing the contrast, um, in my opinion, for what it's worth. Find the button. <laughs>
There's a gradual building of emphasis here, um, and it is a bit like um, when you see a mountain railroad, the incline isn't particularly steep as, as, as the train can't make it. Um, and here, the, the ramping up of the emphasis is, is very, very gradual. Um, and what is it? What is it? I didn't know what Alps were really um, beforehand. <laughs> I'm even 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 more of a quandary now. However, um, rather helpfully, the, there's a there's a moniker at the bottom which made me uh, chuckle a wee bit. Cavancore, what a cracking description. Cavancore, uh, this is Cavancore in black metal. Um, it, it sounds as if it's recorded in uh, one of those sort of um, one of those caves limestone caves that opens out through the passage of water whatever you um there's an echo and a reverb there that um makes cavern core quite a fitting description tickled me when i read it Well, there you go. Um, what am I making of that then? Um, the trouble with um, trying to make something of this particular song is um, the um, previous output was slightly more dynamic, slightly more straightforward, and you could get your head around it more or less straight away. There are hidden depths to this one, which uh, mean with one listen, I don't think I'm going to grasp what's going off there uh, it'll have to be listened to one or two times which is a good thing really isn't it because um music that gives you a fresh experience every time you listen to it can only be a good thing um so whilst it might not be as fast as the other stuff um and always straightforward it is richer for the the palette it, it's using um probably in the long run far more in, interesting than than the other stuff the other stuff i'll listen to for you know a quick hit of adrenaline and uh a pummeling uh this is a, a much more considered piece which um as i say i'm gonna have to listen to a few more times before i'll get a grip of what's going off here um but initial thoughts are intriguing and um still pleasing and still hits uh hits the mark even though it's not probably as um as brutal shall we say as uh the previous stuff but i like it there you go anyway interesting to see if the, this fellow does anything else uh in the near future because i think the uh the album was a while ago now and this this single if you want to call it that uh was end of last year I'll be interested to see what else he can come up with. Anyway, it's clicky bollocks time. See you all next time. Uh, cheerio.